what I have. Um, let me share my screen. Let me screen. So
visible as well. So you get into and we will here on the left side, um, they, uh, we do succession planting. And so succession planting means that we plant at different times. That way we can cut at different times in the year. And the um, Lydianthus on the left side, these are actually coming through the net and the net supports them. And so you will be able to um, hold them up. That way our lizzies don't fall over because they'll get top heavy whenever the blooms come. And so I will... It says, oh, yep, now. Olivia, it's better now. Yeah. Yeah, okay. okay. So, this is where I was at. You can see the different color of Lizzie Anthes that we have. Um, we have purple and champagne and yellow ruffles and white. So these are all the, the different colors that we have growing in there, them small little green plants. That's what they'll look like here in a couple weeks. Maybe it'll be a month or so on some of them. And then this next picture is actually um, another one of my senior pictures. These are actually two sisters. And you can see in my hand, you can see I actually have some Lysianthus. There's purple, pink, and white. And so um, here I'll reiterate my sisters real quick. So on the left is Cassandra, and she's my oldest sister. She's 26. She'll be 26 here on June 8th. And then I'm the one in the center, and I'm the youngest. And then the one on the right is Kara, and she just turned 21 in April. So there's all three of us girls. And then right past the Lysianthus, I have Status. And Status we use as a filler, and it's actually two years old. We planted it last year, and it, it's on its second year in there. Um, if you can see the different colors, we have light purple and dark purple. And we have white and we have pink, and there's like a more of a bluish tint as well. And status is really nice whenever you need something to fill in. Cutting out again. Can you guys see me? It keeps glitching. Everything keeps glitching. Is, 
Okay. Okay, let me. Are you guys on the status? Can you see the PowerPoint? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we're back on status. So like I said, we use status in our arrangement and we try to use it as much as we can. And so it's nice whenever you um, need something to fill in. It's very nice. And then as we move to bed three, which is on the west side of the high tunnel, you can see some more color. And so I will actually show you here on the west side what we have. Um, so let's we'll start with the snapdragon. And so these are very pretty flowers. The areas are really big flowers. Um, um, they got more stalk and it comes up and you can pink in the center and I have more of a orange and um, yellow on the side and these are actually called a rocket mix and I'm gonna is it, is it still connected okay yes yeah so, actually um, before we cut them full bloom, but you can see the yellow and there's orange and purple. And so it's just a different variety. And you can put these in the bouquet too on the side. And so we put them in there to add a lot of colors and they're very vibrant colors. So people like them because they're bright colors to add to your arrangement. And right by the, sta uh, the snapdragons, we have stock. And as you can see, the stalk is a very elegant flower. We had one because we have a lot of spring wedding requesting it. And the only problem with stalk is that it's like it blooms one time, like the plant will bloom one stalk and then it's done. And so it is a um, spring flower. And so in it and so that way we can pull it and put our fall flowers in but you can full bloom actually last week it likes the cool weather and so here's some more of the stock packs we have white and yellow like i said here's the white side and you can see the yellow is up here front and then i have two pictures of the bouquets like the harvest of the stock so as you can see, I have um, a big bundle here on the left and a big bundle on the right. And then right after stock, in the next piece of the thing, we have delphinium. And delphinium is a purple flower that has a long stalk-like flower. And it blooms, and we use it in arrangements for the spring, for spring wedding. Um, somebody requested like a purple, so we raised our delphinium, that way we could have more of a purple look for this. Mm -hmm. And it is a spring flower as well, so it will have to be pulled here in a couple weeks, whenever it's all bloomed out. And then, right after, right here on the side, as you can see, we have Bells of Ireland. So on these Bells of Ireland, they're um, a spring filler as well. So we use these as a filler, or you can use as you can see in the picture, you can use the straight bells. Very good as well. And so we use the bells a lot in both case to add height to our bell, and we use it as on the side that help out the dimension of the bell. And all we have in the high tunnel, as you can see, I use the picture. Um, as you can see, uh, we have the three raised beds, but here on the left side, we also grow vegetables in there. We have eight tomato plants, we have some zucchini and squash, and we actually have green beans in front of the sunflowers. But we do have them growing up here, and they were actually the green last week. And so we actually grow them in the high with our um, flowers. That way we can have both flowers and produce, but we don't sell the produce. We use it for like our home consumption, but we do sell the flowers. 
So if you guys have questions, if you have any flowers you really want to look at again, you can drop it in the comments and I will try to keep up with you and try to answer your questions whenever we start our um, so I will, you can, um, I put a link right here. You can follow us on Facebook if you want to keep up with our small business. Um, you can reach out with any questions you may have. You can drop in the comments. I will keep trying to answer them as we go through. And I would love your feedback from today as well, all right? So whenever we get doing the um, flower bouquet, you can tell me like what feedback, anything you want to know, anything you want more of, I'll try to answer your questions, all right? Okay. I'm going to stop screen sharing and I'm going to take a minute and I'm going to need to um, go to our, my actual presentation the and I'll let my mom answer any questions if you have anything for just a minute while I um, go ahead and set everything up for making the book. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Are we on mute? Oh, yeah. Okay. Good. Anything? Is there any flowers you really like? Oh, uh, the snapdragons. Yeah, we like those. Good. We love them because it makes one really tall one, but then they have side shoots. That comes so you can cut them multiple times. We really like those. So Callie's getting everything set up real quick, and then she's going to show you um, some of those. Is there a certain color you like? Uh, you like the pinks, the yellow. I like the bright pink and the yellow. She likes. What color I you? like the pink too. You I like, like the, the pink and the yellow. Yeah. Callie likes that. She'll. She out some pinks and yellow flowers to kind of show you how to make the arrangement. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to let her step back down and she's going to go ahead and make an arrangement with you. Okay. Okay. All right. Do you have any questions before um, I start? No. No. Okay. So you guys can see me all right. All right. Yes. So I talked about the eucalyptus, remember, on the east side. So as you can see, the eucalyptus right here. And so we have like the big pieces. I'm trying to hold it up so you can see it. You guys can see it. So I have some bigger pieces here. And what I can do, and I use this as the greenery of my uh, arrangement, so as you can see, I kind of want to make a base. So as you can see, I'm making a kind of a base of it, so it has like a kind of a side where um, you, it sticks out from the bouquet, but yet it still holds a base. And so once I get my eucalyptus where I want it, I'm going to add a few bells of ireland. So as you can see, I cut the leaves off and I have the bells itself. So I'm going to add them to the side, and whenever I add something, I want to try to add three or something to try to keep it uniform. So there's one of them. I'm going to add one here. As you can see, I'm going to add it right here in the back. Just try to put it through there so it adds some height to my bouquet. And I'm going to add one more to this side. So as you can see, I have three bells, and I still have eucalyptus. And then for my focal flower, which is the point, like the flower you want to focus the more, most on, I got a sunflower. You guys see it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put the sunflower here in the front, so that way you can focus more on the sunflower, but then I still have my eucalyptus and my bells of Ireland, so you can kind of see it all. And then once I add that, I'm going to add some stock. Which is the, it was on the east side right after Snapdragon. There's some stock. This piece is yellow. I'm gonna add it right here. It's very tall. I'm gonna add it for height in my bouquet. And then I have a white one here. So I'm gonna add it on the other side. I'm actually gonna add it here in the front, I think. So you can see. And so 
So you can see I added it right here on the side. And then after I do that, I'm going to go ahead and add some um, status to my bouquet. And I actually have, this one's the dark purple. I'm going to add it here at the front. That way it adds color to the front of the bouquet. And then I'm going to add this taller piece that I have. You can see it's more of a blue piece. I'm going to add it here to the, the back a little bit. That way it adds a hint of color to the back. And then I'm going to add one more piece to this other side. That way I have three pieces and they're kind of spread out evenly. So as you can see, I added my stock and I've added status and my bells and my eucalyptus with my sunflower. So now I'm going to add my snapdragon, which is your favorite, you say. So here is a pink and orange one. You think you guys can see that one. I'm going to add it here to the front, that way it, it stands out very pretty in the front of the bouquet. And then I have a bright yellow one. As you can see, it's with the bright yellow in the high tunnel. I'm going to add it here to the back, that way it adds some color in the back. And I have pink. I'm going to add the pink to the other side of the back, so it stands up tall. And I'm going to add a pink to the front, that way you guys can see it in the front. You guys see that in the front, the pink? So as you can see, I'm kind of just making an arrangement, kind of putting everything around, that way you can see it. And then I'm gonna add one more delphinium. It's a purple, as you can see, it was the one we cut in the greenhouse. I'm gonna add it right here. That way you can still see it, but yeah, it's kind of hidden. That way you focus still on the sunflower. And so I, whenever I get that, I'm going to add some more bouquet because you don't want everything just to be on the front. You kind of want something in the back as well. So I'm going to add another piece of stock to the back. That way whenever you turn the bouquet around, you can see more than just just a straight back. And then I'm going to add another snapdragon. And I'm going to add another bell here to the back. That way it kind of sticks out. And a piece of status. I'm going to add it to the back as well. So now that I completed my back and I completed my front work, I will, you can use whatever kind of jar. I actually have this jar. It's just a little clear vase. And so when I have my bouquet itself done, I will, you, if you can look at the end, you can still see that I have leaves here on the thing, on the stems, and you actually want to go like this and pull the leaves off. That way the leaves are not in your um, water, and they don't get nasty looking whenever you put it in a clear vase. And so you actually want to pull all the leaves on the bottom off. You can either do it before or after. So I just try to do it before, but a couple of them you don't know yet, so you have to pull them off after. And then whenever you get it how you want it, you just kind of hold, hold the stems in your hand, and you can get these clippers, you know, like foil clippers. You can get them even at the Dollar Tree. You can get them at Lowe's. You can get them at Walmart. And you just want to clip the ends of your stems. You want to clip them all even, but you want to clip them at an angle. That way it will take in the water better. So you clip all your stems at an angle. I'm trying to clip them here at an angle, but I want to try to keep them even as well. That way everything stays in the vase, kind of like you had it. And so when you clip all of them, they should be even on the end. And then you can just place them into your um, jar. When it goes into your jar, your jar may be a little big or a little small, so you'll just kind of have to adjust your flowers, how you like them in your jar. So I'm just kind of, as you can see, just kind of looking at it and adjusting them how I want them to stand. So as you can see, you just kind of move them around a little bit. You can push some of them in further if you want them in further, or you can pull them up just a little. But then that way you can just fill in the holes. So you can see, we kind of have an arrangement. It's kind of round, but yet you still have a lot of height and dimension to it. 
and you still have your focal point, which is your sunflower, and you have your delphinium, your snapdragon, your stalk, you got status in there. So these flowers, if even if you don't have like all these flowers that I have, you can still use whatever flowers you have at your house. Maybe you have some lilies or you have some roses. You can even put roses in here, like a rose in the front if you don't have a sunflower. Or if you have some greenery, I'm not sure, maybe you have like a bush. We have a few bushes that are more like greenery. They have a pop of color and we can use them as well. So it's just kind of whatever you have. Maybe you go to Hoover and you find some flowers there that you like. Now that you know how to put them together, maybe you can put one in the front and that can be like a focal. And then you can add some for height. So does anybody have questions? Does anybody have questions on like anything that I just talked about? No. no. Do you guys think you can do one? Yes. <laughs> yes. You think you can make one now? Yeah. So this kind of depends. Whatever flowers you have, you can use whatever you have, or if you like something better, you can try to, maybe that's something you can add. You can add like a snapdragon plant if you have like a little garden, maybe that's something you can add now, is maybe you can add snapdragon to your flower bed, and then if they get small enough like this, you can try to make arrangements. Any questions from anyone? No. No? Okay. Do you want me, it's about 10, 40, so I have a couple minutes. Do you want me to, um, oh, you just ask, can you use the same technique for dry flowers? Yes, you can. Um, we kind of, like, if we don't, like, sell an arrangement and we have a couple extra, we'll actually dry it kind of like that. So that way when it dries, it keeps its shape and it keeps it. But you can use basically whatever you would like like that. Um, you can use, like you can arrange them how you want them. Sometimes we dry the um, status, we put them in bundles, and we dry it like that. And we rubber band it actually to keep it, to hold it, and we hang it upside down. So you'll want to rubber band it and hold it, hang it upside down, and like it'll drop any of the extra leaves. But most of the time it'll stay like the same color. They'll try, most of them will keep the color a lot. And so. Cockcomb, um, a couple of them that are really good is cockcomb. They're really good about keeping the color. Uh, status keeps the color pretty good. Um, we recently just dried some lavender and it kept its color. And uh, what else do we have? Some, some of the flowers will actually like bleed out and they'll be brown, but some of them will actually stay like still keep the color fairly good. Snapdragons do a little bit. But if you get them like hot enough, we actually dry a little bit in our high sun greenhouse. And so if we do that, they'll actually keep the color a little bit better that they're warm. And so that's, I mean, that's what I have. Um, I have, if you guys have a couple minutes and you want to see fairy garden, you want to see one? What? Let me just kind of show you. A uh, what? A fairy garden. Oh, sure. You can, um, and yes, my mom just said that you can dry hydrangeas. They, um, you need to have a full bloom. They need to be in full bloom, she said. And so, like, whenever they're in full bloom, you can dry them like that. Okay. So here, I'm kind of gonna tilt it down. So you guys can see it a little bit more, but the gnome fell over. But you can see we actually, in our one small greenhouse, like I said, we have um, succulents and fairy gardens and stuff like that. And this is actually, this right here on this side is sedum. And then on the back here is sedum as well. And you can either get this sedum, you can find it in like Walmart or Lowe's if you like wanted to find sedum. We actually propagate seed them, so we can try to plant it and raise it for next year. 
And then on this side is actually portulaca. And it will actually bloom whenever it's in the sunshine. And so it's very cool because you can add like hints of color to your fairy garden. And whenever we make fairy gardens, we try to make them all different. So this one has a little well and some rocks that has a gnome in it. And then, and this other one that I have, other one that I have, it has, it has Ooh, some, yeah. some small succulents. This is Glactopedrum. We have some stone crop sedum. And we have some more various small sedums in here. The sedum will actually spread. And so whenever you get it, like if it gets too big, you can always pinch it off real easy like this. You can pinch it off. And you can actually, whenever you pull it off, and you can push it down in the root, and it will actually make, it will start growing like that. It will actually make its own roots. So it's easy to propagate, and it's easy to move around. So if something gets, like, too big, you can always pull it up and redo it. So there's a little bit about it. In our soil. In our soil, we actually like sedum and succulents. They like more of a sandy soil. And so whenever you um, mix it, we mix it like half dirt and half sand. And it likes it pretty dry because it stores the water in the leaves. And so if you plant, you want to make sure you water about once or twice a week, depending on how hot it is. But it, you'll want to water it as it needs. You don't want to overwater it because it'll actually kill it. And so that we kind of mess around with fairy garden succulents too. So if you guys are interested ever, maybe we can do like a fairy garden class and the succulents and we can kind of go through that maybe one time and workshop if people are interested in that maybe. We can do that. So does anybody else have questions before we call it good? Uh, no. Oh, I don't. Do you mean? No. Did you guys enjoy it today? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I, I like fairy gardens. I think they're neat. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I like, I like to mess with the fairy garden. Sometimes the time consuming, but I like to do them. And people really enjoy them. They make them as well. And little kids like to move the stuff around all the time. Like yeah. my little my little cousins will come over and they'll move all the little gnomes and fairies around and then we'll have to redo them all. But other than that, I really like to do them as well. They're um, more of like clay-based containers. They're better for succulents. You can use like bigger containers or smaller containers. These are just like fairly small containers that we do, but we do small uh, fairy gardens or big fairy gardens. So this kind of depends on what you like and what you like to do. You can put them however you like. Some people see them different. So like it one way, the next person may not like it. But if you have any questions, just try to do it and try to make it pretty. So if you guys have any questions, you can get a hold of us. You can get a hold of us through Facebook. Or I will actually put my uh, phone number here in the comments. If you have any questions, you can call or text me. And if you ever need something, or if you would like to um, hold of us for any questions, I'll put mine and the other thing in the comments as well. So if nobody has anything, I guess we'll call it good for today. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. You guys have want to text me any feedback, anything you want to know more of, you can. And I will just kind of keep up with you. Okay. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Okay. Bye. 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 Thank you, girls.